There are different types of research problems. In today's presentation, we will discuss the, the types of research problems and will elaborate with simple examples. First, let us, uh, let us define a research problem. A research problem is basically an issue or difficulty in our understanding or in terms of taking actions as practitioners that encourage us or compel us or lead us to conduct the process of research. So the process of, the, of research is conducted in order to enhance our understanding regarding a particular research problem or, uh, in, or it, this process can help us in taking informed action or resolving our issues. Now, the different types of, of research problem um, include these four main types. So a research problem could be descriptive, relational, causal, or practical. Descriptive uh, description of a uh, descriptive problem actually is based on description of an issue or problem or variable. Uh, the relational one is aimed at the exploration of association or relationship of variables. The problem that is causal in nature actually is aimed at or identifies exploration of the cause-effect relationship of variables or factors. And the practical, as the very name suggests, uh, is aimed at finding practical solutions to our problems as practitioners. Now, to elaborate on these four main types of research problems, descriptive, uh, the, the research problem that we call the descriptive problem, focuses on questions such as what is happening um, or how is something happening? Examples of the descriptive type of research problem include, and I have given all, most of these examples from the field of education. So the first example is what teaching methods are being used in a school? So the researcher is simply, understand, uh, uh, is simply interested in knowing what teaching methods are being used in a school. Um, the second example is, what is the student-teacher ratio in public school? And so there are numerous examples could be given um, in response to our understanding of descriptive uh, research problems. The second one, the relational one, is as the name suggests, the, uh, will revolve around questions such as, what relationship is there? So, for example, what is the relationship between teachers' encouragement and students' confidence? Now, here you can see that we have two variables and we are interested in the relationship of these two variables. The variables are <coughs> uh, teachers' encouragement and students' confidence. The second example is what is the relationship between parents' socioeconomic status and the academic achievement of their children. So again, there is this, uh, uh, the interest is actually in finding the relationship between these two variables. The causal problems um, actually respond to questions such as what causes what, or what are the causes of certain social phenomena. Um, or natural phenomena in natural sciences. So examples of questions that are responded through this type of research problem include, what is the effect of student-centered teaching methods on students' academic achievement? So here you can see that the research is interested, the, the research is actually focused on finding the cause of one variable um, and the result of that that is the other variable so the for example here 
student-centered teaching method um, could be considered as cause and the effect basically is the student's academic achievement. The second example is what is the impact of parental involvement on students' discipline in schools? So again here, the researcher is interested basically in establishing cause-effect relationship. So generally, um, cause effect the problems that refer to cause effect relationship or that actually highlight cause effect relationship are better explored through more rigorous research designs such as experimental research designs. And the last type of research problem in this categorization is the practical. So here the researcher is not interested in the development of theory or in establishing cause-effect relationship or in the description of phenomena, but actually trying, um, but actually is interested in finding practical solution to their problem. So the central question um, in this type of research could be, how can an issue or problem be resolved practically? So here are two examples. How can I improve student involvement in my classes? Now this is a kind of very practically focused question or research problem. What can I do to deal with students' discipline problem? Again, it's a, very, it's, it's a problem of very practical nature. So generally, such type of problems are uh, resolved through or explored through practical research designs such as um, action research design. So these are the four main types of research problems um, in social sciences. The descriptive research problems, the relational research problems, the causal research problems, and the practical research problems.